So this unappetizing looking jar in the window of our dining room next to a bunch of other stuff is our creme de coco. This is 750 milliliters of vodka, a cup and a half of cocoa nibs, six coffee beans, two cups of sugar, we used artificial sugar, and one vanilla bean sliced. I think that's it. And it's not looking very good, but in three weeks, it will be creme de coco. And I'll show it to you then. But meanwhile, I have to shake it up periodically. So there you go. Good morning. It's Barbara. It is Thursday, November 19th. I hope you are all well. I am drinking my coffee in my Starbucks travel mug because I was just traveling. I just got home. I took Maze to the vets where we use their grooming services. So she's going to get all dolled up today. <laughs> and I'm sure they're going to put little bows in her ears and then Dennis is gonna freak out and they won't be in there very long I can tell you he never liked it when they like put a bandana you know he's he doesn't like any kind of frippery around his dog <laughs> well I don't know if it's the part I edited out or not. I had a little rant about how bad I am about taking care of Maisie's coat that I took out of my video yesterday I didn't want you to think I was a terrible person. <laughs> but her, she's pretty matted around her chin and her face. So I asked her to keep all the curls that she could. Do her best to keep the curls because I do love the curls. And I've just made her next appointment. But they, she only, the groomer only works on Fridays. And Christmas and New Year's are a Friday this year. Well, Christmas and New Year's are always the same day of the week. And that day is Friday this year. So, I... Oh, excuse me. I have dog hair. <laughs> um, today's a Thursday, so she obviously can add days. And I, my guess is she um, doesn't want to work on the day after Thanksgiving. And so she added a day here. So, I said put me on the waiting list if she adds days to make up for Christmas and New Year's but meanwhile put me down for January 15th so both Maisie and I have eight week appointments she said well if I have to ma make her short on her face and she stays curly long and curly on her body she's gonna look like a poodle <laughs> I said that's okay I love the curls I love the curls but I do have to take her more regularly and try to be better. I mean, but I say that every time, so I don't know if being better is possible. <laughs> we we do try. Anyway, so Pearl is here with me. She does not like Maisie's day when she gets her grooming because Maisie gets to go for a ride in the car and Pearl doesn't. She feels very discombobulated. So I pulled up the, it's Thursday, so I get my pattern from Curious Handmade from my knit vent that Linda gave me. Thank you, my dear. And it is the cheering socks, which go with the cheering cowl and the cheering hat, which is very cute. But I do wish I had looked closer at the pattern and just printed off the front sheet because I'm not really into socks these days. And you know, Helen Stewart always says the line by line. The pattern for these socks is 20 pages. <laughs> she has a lot of sizes. <laughs> I mean, seriously, 20 pages. So, had I been paying more attention, I would have only printed the front of it so you could see them. But they're very nice socks. That apparently you wear over top of tights. <laughs> So, thank you, Linda. I think that's the last pattern that's coming. But, um, those are very nice patterns. And the first cowl, I forget the name of it, cheering. No, these are the cheerings. Tidings cowl, something like that. I'm going to be doing with my 
advent. Oh, good news. Megan got my advent in the mail. Yay. So it arrived in time. And so she said she wasn't going to open it until it was time to decorate. There is a an ornament in there for her. She often sends me an ornament. I have I have surfing Santas and things because of course it's summertime at Christmas in New Zealand. <laughs> you know, it's funny to hear like um Connie from Chili Knits do her do her, she used to podcast I don't know if she I haven't seen a podcast from her in quite some time but talks about her Christmas presents or flip-flops and you know and uh, bathing suit cover-ups and things like that <laughs> which seems odd to us in the northern hemisphere we are having chilly chilly weather it's bright and sunny but chilly it was cold yesterday walking the dogs I just, um, the car said it was 31 degrees out there today, which is zero centigrade. And, uh, breezy. Well, I did what I said I was going to do, and I, half of what I said I was going to do, and picked up the containers that I used to dye my yarn from my deck and I told you there was two and a half inches of water in the little blue containers these little blue containers so I dumped out the water and there was ice on top of them <laughs> and then later you know so I dumped out the ice and then you know I don't know half an hour later Maisie's in here crunching on something and I'm like oh my and it sounded like she had plastic it looked like plastic I'm like what the heck does she have Turned out it was a square of ice that <laughs> she brought in. She likes ice. <laughs> so that was funny. <sighs> so yesterday was a good day. I just hung out. We took a nice walk. We had nice weather. And, um, and I knit and I finished the front of Christie's Boxy. So I need to start on the back today. <coughs> So that's going to go fast. Pretty soon I'm going to have two boxy bodies and I'm going to need to start doing some sleeves and some necklines. But even though I'm doing something that I'm enjoying and, you know, I'm working on my Christmas presents, so I'm not even being lazy. So that's good. I like that. I am cocooning, though. I'm rewatching. Oops. Our power just went out. Okay, so now you're going to get beeping because the upses are going to be beeping. And I won't be uploading this anytime soon if the power doesn't come right back on. And we have a beautiful day. It isn't even that windy. So why our power would go out, I have no idea. But since I'm on my cell phone, I can keep recording. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be aggravating for Dennis. He's having his tea in bed. And now he knows he's got to get up and... Well, we won't do anything for an hour at least. If it's off for more than an hour, we'll see. There it is. Right back. Just enough time to mess up the clocks mm -hmm. and uh, his machine was all set up for me ready to go for my editing and now I have to go check it because it doesn't always come up exactly right but that's okay all right so emergency's over power outage power's back is that weird puppy that beeping you know she knows something's wrong when there's a lot of beeping going on. So I don't remember where I was when I was distracted by my electric power going out. But 
Anyway, Megan got her advent, and I will be opening her package. I didn't even open her package yet because she sometimes sticks a little something in there, and I wasn't ready. I didn't want to get any little something when she didn't have her package yet. So um, my plan is to open it the day after Thanksgiving, which is a week from tomorrow. Thanksgiving's a week from today. And um, that's when I'm going to start decorating. Although, if I'm feeling ambitious in the next week, I will go to the um, flower marketplace, I forget what it's called, where I've gotten my poinsettias the last few years. Maybe I'll take you with me um, and buy my poinsettias because the first thing to do, you know, is buy is buy poinsettias and fill your house with poinsettias. That's my advice because if you don't do another damn thing, you still feel decorated. But I plan to do more than that. But I will have lots of poinsettias. So I am wearing <clears throat> little earrings that I made. These earrings match a necklace that I have multi -colored, different colored beads in this style um, along with some silver work which I'm not wearing but I have several earrings because the beads on that necklace I have a white background this is a turquoise background um, and so I have white and turquoise those may be the only two that I have that go with that necklace so specifically but they don't seem to be catching. They have a little, they just have a little loop at the bottom, which makes them less catchy. And I'm wearing my Monte Rosa cardigan by Isabel Kramer. That's what's going on here today. So I will be working on Christie's um, back and Dennis is going grocery shopping. And I'll go and reset all the clocks. And go further on my day. I did not sleep very well last night. Maybe it's because I had to set the alarm. I had to set the alarm. Make sure I got up in time to take me. She's supposed to be at the vet at 9. And I wanted to make sure that she wasn't late. I set the alarm. Apparently setting the alarm means I don't sleep very well, which is kind of too bad. But, but I feel okay. Coffee. That's all it takes. A little coffee. And I've been sleeping pretty well lately, knock on wood. So. That's it for me, I guess. I will... Wish you all so well. I hope you're all doing really well. We're coming into a hard season. I know for some people, and this is going to be very hard. They're telling people don't gather in large crowds for Thanksgiving. So everybody's got to change what they, you know, lots of people will be changing what they do. We're going to have a very small group here, typically... Um, we would be planning on driving to Florida. We would be leaving on Monday. We would leave on Monday and get there Tuesday. Stay for a week. Take the dogs. Dogs are great travelers. And see the granddaughters. So it's been, now it's been a year since we've seen the granddaughters in person because they came went last November and um, they would have come up they were planning on coming up in June which didn't happen obviously so I'm missing my girls I gotta tell you that but we will be here with Aura and um, maybe Kim and maybe Gary so we shall see Dennis is gonna see if he can find a frozen goose the store today and if not then we're going to have 
a duck. We can get a fresh duck, we think. We hope. And that should be good. So. But I know it's tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough year for holidays. Christy and Rich aren't coming up for Christmas, which they have done for since she, she's she been here for Christmas every year since she moved to Mississippi. And um, she and Rich got engaged last year when they came up at Christmas time. So I don't know what their plans are going to be for their wedding. They thought they would get married next summer up, up at the farm. Um, I don't know. We shall see. But so we need to prepare ourselves for a unique Christmas season or holiday season. I think Hanukkah starts in like three weeks. Three weeks, I think, on Friday. And I don't know when Kwanzaa is celebrated. Exactly. And so we've got to make our own holiday this year and may start a start some figure out some traditions that will make us new traditions that will make us feel good. I don't know if you can have a new tradition that's sort of an oxymoron, but you know what I mean. Please take good care of yourselves. I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay safe.